Hello, U.S. government students. It is I, your teacher, Mr. Daleabout, and today I'm going to explain to you how to do Lesson 1.1, which is called the Hobby Horse. Now, you've probably read the introduction, but basically a hobby horse is the worldview that you have, that you as an individual flesh bag are riding in on. It's, it's things that you think you know and values that you have that are inside your head and inside your heart, and who knows where they come from. Are they innate? Were you born with this natural tendency to want to rebel against authority? Or have they been taught to you? Maybe you went to church and you've been taught a certain faith, right? Um, these things all inform our worldview, and our goal in this class is to be able to talk about those things that shape us without bringing up hostility, which is very difficult in this current political climate. So we're learning these skills of civil discourse so that we can share our worldview, not compromise our worldview, but do it in a way that's tactful so that it's not uh, overly inflammatory or offensive to other people. And so that's what we're practicing doing in this class when we talk about complex political issues like you know, universal health care and, and things and legalization of things and stuff like that. So um, what we're, this is kind of a twist on the whole thing of like introduce yourself to the class. Uh, you are introducing yourself, but more importantly, you're introducing the values that you have inside. For example, here's the students uh, one here, and this is a great example. You can see that this student is, uh, ha is a feminist. Um, you can also see that this student is a Catholic. Uh, these are rosaries here, which are Catholic and the cross. Uh, this whole thing is actually made with makeup, which shows you that the student is interested in cosmetology. Um, you can also see other things that maybe don't influence values, but definitely influence experience, like a diabetes tester. I don't know what that's called. And uh, Bob's Burgers girl. I don't watch Bob's Burgers. I just know that girl's from Bob's Burgers. I also am not sure what a stork means. Um, but I'm sure a student explained it. And then a witch's hat, which maybe this student was a Wiccan Catholic. I'm not sure. But this is a really good example. It looks really good. Uh, when the student explained this, this was like three years ago, uh, this student um, explained this very well and was able to articulate who they are and where their values come from. Okay, uh, Because when we're in this class, we're not going to be debating the person's value. We're going to be debating the value of ideas because every person is inherently worth something. Now, this is mine, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna show it. I, I, uh, I don't know why I get, I'm, it's kind of nerve-wracking to talk about these things, but this is mine. Uh, mine doesn't use color, but you'll notice that I didn't actually use the template here, um, and I have a lot of interesting things. So, I was a rebellious lad as a uh, young youngster, and you can see a couple things, like I have the word revolution, and I have the word, it's all backwards to me. I think it says love in the middle though, and that's nice. Uh, and you can see this like A for like anarchy, because I was all edgy as a teenager and I was like, rebel against authority. But then also I have this cross because uh, I later on was influenced by a, a, a Christian worldview. Uh, you can also see it's somewhat violent, but Kenny, um, dead on my hobby horse. And the reason I have that there is because when I was a kid, uh, for better or for worse, I watched South Park a lot, and it actually, I don't recommend watching that show, but I did. Uh, and it influenced my political beliefs uh, quite a bit and how, how I approach things, uh, for better and for worse. For worse, I tend to be overly sarcastic and really emphasize comedy. But on the other end, it made me very skeptical and critical of what our culture is doing. I also have, uh, this is actually Miss Bean, and she is... Um, feeding me knowledge, uh, different knowledge about like just books. These are books I read a few summers ago, uh, like how children succeed and stuff. And she's always giving me things to think about and challenging my worldview of which my horse is consuming. I also have this peace sign that's hitting the horse's head and bouncing off. And that's because my parents were uh, very, um, they were like hippies when they were younger. And uh, uh, while I appreciate the, the late 1960s, a, a, a lot of the things from that sort of bounced off me. I am totally for peace, but, but some of the more liberal values, uh, some of those I didn't, I didn't take to. I also have these thick frame glasses because I have these, and uh, it's kind of symbolizing you know, thinking and, and such. And then I have these Liberty Spikes uh, that are very punk rock. And I'm not sure what these dudes are doing on the back. I don't remember. I did another one later because I lost that one, and then I found it. 
And so I have some of my favorite bands too, uh, Queens of the Stone Age, Dead Kennedys. I have a, a pyramid that's blocked. I have a bass to show I like bass. I have a microphone. I'm talking into a microphone right now, I like talking, as you can see. And my, my tie has a cross on it on this one. So basically what you're making is something like that. Um, if you have questions uh, about this assignment, just email me at daleaboutg at msd281.org. Otherwise, I'll see you day one with this completed.